subaccounts are an integral part of Elastic Email's functionality. They are intentionally designed to support users who have their own client base and separating mail. There are no limits to the number of subaccounts you can have. Each subaccount, for all intensive purposes, is its own account. Contacts, templates, campaigns, reports, and settings are unique to the subaccount with a few exceptions. Any domain that is verified on the main account can be used by all subaccounts. Billing is all handled on the main account. Subaccounts use the credit that is purchased on the main account. All the usage, summary, and history is available on the main account only. Subaccounts are also designed to work with custom branding settings to allow the main account user to custom brand aspects of the UI, settings, and notification emails for their own clients. More on custom branding in another tutorial. Let's walk through the process of creating a subaccount. Click Add Subaccount. Accounts are identified by email addresses. We recommend using a real email address for the subaccount email address if possible. There is an option to send an activation email to the email address to confirm if the address is real and confirm the account creation. Provide a password. Users can log in directly to the subaccount or the main account user can load the subaccount from the main account. The rest of the options are for customizing the subaccount. There are options for limiting emails, contacts, SMTP API access, private IPs, UI campaigns, litmus testing, and advanced tools. Add the subaccount to complete the process. You can edit and customize the subaccount settings from the list of subaccounts. Let's review some of the options in more detail. There are a few ways to limit emails and each can be used independently or at the same time. The daily send limit will simply limit the subaccount to a specific number of emails per day. When requires email credits is enabled, the subaccount can only send as many emails as they have email credits. The monthly refill credits field lets you specify the number of email credits to be refilled each month. You can then provide an initial amount of email credits by clicking on the email credits link on the subaccount overview listing. In this way you can either set up monthly credit refills or just provide a specific number of emails for the subaccount to use. Litmus testing offers email client and spam filter previews. Enabling litmus tests will make the feature available. Requiring litmus credits will allow you to limit the number of tests that can be performed. Litmus credits can be assigned on the litmus credit link on the subaccount overview listing. The max email size lets you adjust the maximum overall size limit of emails. This includes attachments. This is good if you want to limit the amount of credit a subaccount can use on attachments. Max contacts will allow you to limit the total number of contacts the subaccount can have. When advanced tools is enabled, there is a contact storage fee based on the number of contacts in the account. This lets you control that cost. Allow private IP purchases lets you control whether a subaccount can purchase private IPs on their own from their account settings. Allow SMTP send, allow API send, and allow interface send lets you control how the subaccount can submit email. Advanced tools will let you enable or disable the advanced tools and thus the contact storage costs. Let's look at the overview listing. The overview listing will provide general details about the subaccount, such as status, last activity, total email sent, account reputation, and some general email stats such as invalid, spam, and abuse rates.